led to the decision to take this fight in Las Vegas. After everything that happened last November and previously, you really didn't want to fight here again. What convinced you to accept taking the fight here? Well, I, I need to take this fight because I Everybody knows what happened in the last two fights. The, the, the most important for this fight, I want to, I want to use more aggressive, aggressive with, with, with intelligence because because money, money is a, a very dangerous fighter. Well, that's why they insist on another venue. I don't, I don't like, I don't like fight again here. Don't like fighting. Yeah, I like I like I like fight with in Mexico. But not many. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 in Mexico because because many many wants wants want to fight in Mexico too. But the promoter I don't know I don't know what happened. There's a promoter this one. Two tell us how your life or, or your career and your life would have been different if say you would have won two of those three fights or or how would things have been different to you? We have been able to do it. Everything is different. It's different because, because uh, this is this is this is the, my career maybe change maybe change right now. But I feel, I feel, I feel great with what happened in the past with my. One, would, would you have fought, continued to fight, had you won the last fight? That never crossed my mind. If I would have won, I would have still been fighting. I like, feel great, and I want to continue fighting. Won two of the judges for this fight. Picked were two of the judges for the Austin Trout fight against Cotto. Cotto lost in his territory. One of the judges, Adelaide Bird, had it 119-109 for Trout. And Weisfeld has it 117-111 for Trout. Given that they gave him such a wide margin of victory in Cotto's basically favorite town, does that have any bearing on your opinion on whether they will be fair and in this fight for you? What did they miss? What exactly did they miss that you were doing that missed them making out? Están buscando ser, ser agresivos, usar más la agresividad, pero yo creo que también el boxeo se, se gana con inteligencia. Las peleas se ganan con inteligencia. Fue lo que hicimos la tercera pelea. La tercera pelea hicimos la, la pelea con inteligencia, conectamos los mejores golpes y así fue como ganamos. You know, I think that sometimes I look for aggressive, more aggressive than there really is there, but obviously if I'm intelligent and I'm doing my job, I don't need to be more aggressive. I thought in the third fight I was more aggressive than the first two. I came, I came out to get him a few times, and I, that's not more I can do with that. What, what would you say about the perception that you're bigger this camp, that if you do counter punch like before, and that's what's giving him issues, why would you get bigger? Why would you take the weight quick this football? You know, I think it worked. 
more things. I don't think I lost any of my speed. I mean, maybe I'm bigger, but I'm sure I still don't feel it. I feel like I kept get my speed, and that's going to be the difference in the fight. You know, I need to be fast. I need to be pushing something like that. Okay. There's no the secret. They've made insinuations on how he got in his bolt. Can you ask him about that? If he cares what they say in terms of that and how he did it naturally. I think uh, you can say anything you want, but you don't have any proof. What does that mean? It means nothing. But I, I will told them, and I'm willing to take any exam they want. Hopefully, together. Let's go together and see if we can do it together. Well, why didn't you do it earlier then? Because now, I would say, theoretically, if somebody took it, it would have cleared their system. Why wouldn't you have done it earlier? So you could have proven that you had taken it earlier. La pelea pasada, nosotros este, estuvimos tranquilos, no hicimos nada, pero bueno, eh, nos, nos quedamos ahí esperando a que ellos aquí nos dijeran algo y no, no nos, nos pusimos tranquilos, pero ahorita están atacando, ellos están atacando y si quieren hacer los exámenes al toque, yo estoy listo a la hora que ellos quieran, hoy, mañana, pasado, después de la conferencia de prensa, cuando les guste, les estoy listo. You know, when, uh, for, the, for the last fight in November, uh, there have been uh, accusations about him. People have been saying things about him. We, we didn't care. Him being man. Yeah. You know, we never brought it up. We didn't think it was, you know, something. We didn't know anything. So we didn't bring it up. They never brought it up, and we never did anything about it. For this fight, you know, all of a sudden, the last couple of weeks, they've been starting. They're the one that have been attacking me. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's why I'm saying now, let's do it now. That's, that's, what, what, that's what they think. How much of that do you think is... Because of what they saw in the last fight, and how much do you think is just reaching and trying to play head game? Do you think any of it is, is that? No, I'm concentrated on the pelea, I'm in the pelea, and they can say what they want, but I'm very concentrated. I feel very focused in this fight. Manny, the team, he says anything, but I feel very focused in this fight. And Hey Juan, this fight's at the full 147 pound limit. Do you think that's an advantage for you or for Manny, or does it even matter? Maybe I see it for Manny, but, but I feel great. I feel great this way. I feel very strained. I have speed. I have everything. Everything. I, I feel great. Do you have to cut to make 47 now? Or? No, 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 I need to, I need to eat more. I need to eat more. What are you walking around with? What? What do you walk around in? 145, 144. Juan, some of the techniques, can you tell me a little bit about the techniques, your strength, posture that Mr. Hernandez implemented, and how much of a change was that for you, and how much has it effect has it had on your body? I work in with, with Agile, I, I, I change everything, I feel great, I feel great because, because I have 20 years of career, but, but I, 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 do it, I do it the same for, for 18 years, I do it every day. It's not the same for 18 years. For 18 years. And now with, with Agile change everything. One more question. Can I ask you a question? Maybe both you can. You were on TV doing those squats. And that would seem to be, you know, create a lot of lactic acid and build up and take a while. So it, that's not something boxers normally do, lifting that heavy weight. Why did you choose to do that? And is, was that a concern about, you know, no, how? No, 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 That's my job as a coach, as a scientist. I don't know how to neutralize lactic acid. How do you neutralize it? Well, that's that's just my secrets. I don't I don't intend to tell so people can copycat my secrets. But uh, but it's all it's all legal. It's all within the law. Not illegal stuff. So it's just simple that I can get to understand I'm a scientist. Well, not just a scientist. I understood it. I guess the question being though is that you know historically guys in, the, in this sport haven't hey, done okay, that. It, it, and it, so it, my, it, follow, it, my follow my follow up. No, no, it, it's a it's a fair it's a fair question because in the past a lot of people you have to understand weight training has changed, has evolved. 
and, and, and even to, in the past, you could not see uh, strength conditionists around boxers. It was only the manager and the boxers. Today, you must have a boxer, strength conditioner, and a, and a manager. So, because it's, it's sort of like a team that works together, you know? The whole team is the whole team. It's like a chain of Oh, yeah, no, no, nothing illegal. We, uh, what, 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 there have been charges on their side wondering how he's gotten this thing. And oh, yeah, yeah. we've done everything. I uh, met with federal authorities a couple days ago in LA. I met with uh, Jeff Milinski. I met with uh, what authorities, uh, chief investigator. I requested because the allegations that were, have been implemented on my client, it's just, and it's implemented on me as well, I think it's unfair and it's very illogical for someone to call a paper to come out and say something like that. So I met with authorities and we are going to take the steps forward. I told them they're probably going to be here on Thursday. I requested to do an Olympic blood who, who, test. Who is they? Who is they? Uh, Jeff Novinsky is the state investigator. investigator and uh, what investigative chief uh, for the, uh, what, uh, the World Trade Open Agency. And USADA, but USADA, in that case, USADA cannot test in Mexico because the fact that it's international. So we have to go to WADA. They're ready to go, they're ready to implement the test, but you know, it's not up to us. If Pacquiao decides to do it, we will we'll, 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 well, I guess the question would be, then what is the point of testing him now if he hadn't been tested through camps and there was EPO no, or whatever taken? Right, but it you wouldn't got, show up right now, would it? No, but you got to understand that what they got on is biological passports. Biological passports, it tells you it goes backwards. It tells you how long you have been using drugs. If you're detected, it's plainly detectable. Pro hormone is detectable, and through the Olympic system. So that is detectable. It's just the fact is we requested blood tests a long time ago from last year. They didn't. They didn't want to follow. This year, they didn't. It was instated on the contract. We requested that as to be fair with everybody, but they didn't want it to. So you know, we, I'm not the one. But we 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 cannot change the commission. We do our job. We do our job. Nacho does a job. He trains. So we we not, we we're not sitting down here trying to change the commission. The commission right. is the ones that have to step in and say, you know what? Let's do blood tests for everybody. Let's do a blood a fair test for everybody. But they, you know, I don't make them. Would you do like if, if, assuming he wins his fight? Would you go to the next fight and say we'll submit this is what this CIR is, testing the whole thanks time? Thanks for asking that. Now the next what this is. This is what I'm working on. All my fighters from now on, they're gonna go to the Olympic system, they're gonna be going, all of them are gonna be on the contract with me, with the WADA and federal authorities. We're, not, we're gonna do some contract. That means everybody's gonna be, all my athletes, including one and we're gonna be testing all year round. And the carbon isotope ratio. All kinds of tests, yeah. Well, the idea, the isotope test, the 13, 14 carbon EPO test, there's, there's the many implementation tests. The 24, 7, 365. There you go. So, so that's, all that's what you're saying? Well, you're wrong. Yes, so you, are you willing to do that? Because in other words, they could come to your house on Christmas Day and say you need to pee in a bottle. Would you be willing to do that, what he just described? No, 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 yo soy, yo soy listo, nada más que lo que se quiere es que, que se trabaje limpio y que suba limpio. Ellos lo que están diciendo, en este caso Freddy Ross dice que mi cuerpo no es natural, pues entonces hay que someterse a, a unos exámenes tipo olímpicos para ver, para ver que se compruebe que es, que es natural, pero también si me lo hago yo, que se lo haga el equipo, que se lo haga Manu Pacquiao. I'll be happy to do it, you know, whenever they want, as long as the guy that I'm fighting does it the same thing. I'm, you know, if there's going to be a level field, it has to be a level field for everyone. That's the, uh... That's, that's exactly where I requested. I said, look, I signed a contract with the line. We have all my boxes tested for us, so we have to make sure we go over there. Uh, yeah. uh, on the contract, that also the third party that we want against, they get tested the same system. Why? Because it's about equality, it's about quality. We, we have to be equal, right? right? So as long as as long as agreeable by both parties, we got no problems. Like I said, I've been, I don't know if you guys know much about my history, but I've been advocated in I've been working with Isada for almost six years. I've been doing, I just don't talk. I'm not like some people in San Francisco. So that loves to be the attention. I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you tweak. That's the Yeah, that's the Twitter master. So I don't. I don't, I don't do that. I'm a guy, I'm a scientist, I'm a professional. I don't do so if I called him, what would he say about you? Who? Say? That guy you were? Yeah, Twitter. Well, you know Mr. Twitter, he's been just popping his off the whole time, so I don't really, he doesn't concern me at all. Because he doesn't know my history, he's just pissed off. I expose him. the whole world to track and field. And it's not my fault. You mean, in the, you mean in the, uh, in the, in the German thing where you showed how to, you know, how to get the drug Because see, the thing about it is that, uh, that film, when it was done, I was, I was showing it that the reporter, that's how they, the athletes used to but I did it on myself because you know, the film, so I don't, you know, but they twist it around. It just happens with me, they twist the things around when they do it, uh, editing, so that's what happens. What, what other fighter, is he your only fighter? Do you have no, other I got more, but I'm not going to talk about fighters yet until the contracts are finalized, and once the contracts are, sit, are, are, are uh, signed, 
they will be uh, sent to Because you don't you don't have them signed now under contract or you well, I'm, I'm waiting for what what uh, uh, officials to formalize uh, a contract. So what because my understanding what cannot just jump in and then you have to ask them. It has to be uh, coordinated with the commissions, and if the commission wants to do it, then we welcome. We, we, we trust the commission, at the same time, well, I don't change the commission. We just want to do the right thing, and that's what we have been trying to do, but you know, just people just talk nonsense stuff. Let me ask you, you know, let, let's just do for the sake of argument that, you know, everything is clean. You're, you're in a really bad situation here, but win the fight, the more, you know, if you knock them out, it's going to even create more submission, uh, suspicion, right, because of all this controversy. So you're in a can't win situation, don't you think?